dear students today we start with a, a new topic that is polarization uh, so far we considered the effect of an external electric field on an individual atom or a molecule for example uh, consider an individual a single a single atom of a non polar dielectric material whose center of gravity of positive and negative charges coincide therefore the day will be zero this non polar atom or molecule don't have any doesn't have any dipole moment because p is equal to q into t if i give this same atom in an external electric field we have seen that uh, the positive charges moves in the direction of the electric field negative charges and this moves in the opposite direction of the electric field there will be a charge separation now d is not equal to zero does this atom or molecule have a dipole moment that is p q into t the direction of the dipole moment is from negative to positive okay now this was a case of a single atom next we consider what happens when a piece of dielectric material is placed in an electric field what happens when a piece of dielectric material is placed in an electric field we have already learned it. dielectric materials are of two types non polar and polar let us first keep first consider the non polar dielectric material non polar dielectric material this non polar dielectric material consists of atoms having zero dipole moment in the absence of the electric field if we apply an electric field to this dielectric material non polar dielectric material the positive charges move slightly displaces along the direction of the applied electric field and negative charges moves in the opposite direction of the electric field okay that is the field you will induce a dipole moment tiny dipoles along the direction of the applied electric field that is the field will induce tiny dipoles pointing in the same direction of the electric field let me note on this point the field will induce tiny dipole moment pointing in the same direction same direction of the electric field now let us come to the case of non polar dielectric material non polar sorry polar sorry polar dielectric material okay the polar dielectric material uh, has permanent dipole moment even in the absence of electric field we draw the figure
even in the absence of this electric field this polar dielectric material have permanent dipole moment there will be a charge separation d will be there the dipole moment is from negative to positive but it is uh, it has a permanent dipole moment each even in the absence of the electric field this material have a permanent uh, charge separation then p will be qd will be there but if i keep this polar dielectric material in an external electric field now let us see what will happen we have seen earlier that the each one is a dipole while we apply if we apply the electric field on this direction the electric field exerts a force on the positive charge on the direction of the applied electric field and the, the force on the negative charge opposed to the direction of the electric field therefore each dipole will rotate like this each dipole will rotate it on the direction of the applied electric field this dipole will also rotate like this then this will be the positive one okay negative to positive let me note on the points here the permanent dipole moment will experience a torque first dipoles experience a torque that is finally all dipoles align in the direction of applied external electric field okay thus let us conclude if you place a dielectric material whether it is a polar dial polar dielectric or non polar dielectric in an external electric field a lot of dipoles point along the direction of the field thus the material is said to be polarized both materials are now polarized a convenient measurement of this effect is known as the polarization that is how much dipoles are aligned per unit to volume that can be defined as a polarization polarization with notation capital p this is nothing but dipole moment per unit volume dipole moment per unit volume this p can be written as dipole moment p small p divided by d top this is also called the polarization density because uh, here d to is the volume element that contains dipole moment p this uh, this is a uh, similar to the case of charge density rho e is is equal to dq by dv dv is the or dq or d to d to is a volume element that contains charge dq then the charge density is rho similarly some people also write this polarization as a p is dp divided by d to 
നൈപോൾ മൊമെന്റ് പെർ യൂണിറ്റ് വോളിയം ഇറ്റ്സ് നോൺ ആസ് പോളറൈസേഷൻ ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഈസ് ആൾസോ കോൾഡ് പോളറൈസേഷൻ ഡെൻസിറ്റി പോളറൈസേഷൻ ഡെൻസിറ്റി 